this KDP research tool has got me excited. And that's unusual because I've been publishing books since 2013 and low content books since 2018. Those are those things like logbooks, coloring books, activity books, etc. And during that time, I've used and tried a lot of KDP tools that are out there. And it's very rare that I come across anything that's really new. Until, that is, I received this email. Hi Paul, just wanted to give you a heads up that Rocket has a major release coming this week called the Historic Category Feature. Now I've got to admit, Historic Category Feature didn't really give me that buzz. And so I actually put off having a look at what this feature was, which was a big mistake because this has become my new KDP niche research tool and we need to have a closer look at it. And what is this tool in question? Well, it's Publisher Rocket. Now, this has been around for a while, and in fact, I bought Publisher Rocket back in 2013. And this, as well as Helium 10, have been my two keyword research tools, the two main tools that I use. However, they've updated this feature here, which is the category search. Now, with this tool, it's been very useful for finding those categories in which to list your books. You see, normally on KDP, you have this list you've got to go through and it can be a real pain trying to find two categories that are relevant or appropriate to your book. However, a tool like this can speed up the process. And we can see here, we can just have a look at all the different categories within a broad overall niche, in this case, children's books. And so from this, we can find a couple of categories in which to list our book or more categories if you do decide you want to publish in more than just those two basic categories. However, things have changed quite significantly here. And when I first had a look at this tool, I just entered coloring to test things out. And we've got all our lists of categories here, which you would expect. Then we've got our two columns here, and this gives us the number of books you need to sell per day to get in that number one position, that number one ranking in that particular category. And this column here to get in the top 10. Now, why would you want to get in that top position for a particular category? Well, there's two reasons. One is you can get that lovely orange bestsellers badge, and this gives your book that social proof. So if customers see a book with that orange badge, they do tend to click on it. And so you can possibly make uh, more sales with it. The other thing is, if you do rank high in a particular category, it does give your book a bit of extra push up the rankings overall on Amazon. But this is where things have changed. First of all, we've got this column here, which is large publisher percentage. And this is the percentage of books in the category that are from significantly sized publishers. So for us independent publishers, we want this figure to be as low as possible because those large publishers have the big marketing budgets and so they can promote their books and give them a better chance of ranking on Amazon and getting those sales. So the lower this number, the better. Then we have these two columns here. The first one is insights. So if we click on this here, it gives us that information that we've just seen in this top row, but it gives us this other information, the average age of books within particular category that are making significant sales. The lower this number, the better. It means there's a decent number of younger books in that particular category. So again, if we're just about to publish a book, it means we've got a slightly better chance of getting our book in that particular category or ranked highly in that particular category. Then you've got this graph of sales of the top 30 best sellers. And I found this useful just to see if there's any particular variations throughout a year in a particular category. In this case, we can see there's more sales in December, which is what we would expect from uh, coloring books. We do have this category growth, which I didn't find it quite as much use, but I guess it could be of use in some circumstances. You may find there's a, a, a big rise in the number of sales or growth in a particular category, which may indicate a certain books within the category might be coming popular. So when I was looking at this, when I put in coloring, I had a look at these lists and this particular category stood out for me for a number of reasons. One, wasn't going to take many sales per day, only 11 books compared to these other figures. And also the large publisher percentage was low. And the other thing that stood out for me was this was a fashion coloring book uh, niche, which I wasn't familiar with. And so I thought, excellent. This has come up with a new idea and 
possibly a good chance of getting a book ranked high in the categories. So I clicked on insights to get some more information. The average age was lower than the previous one we've just looked at. So good potential maybe of getting a new book uh, ranked high up in that particular category. This data here looks a bit strange and that is this big drop I think is possibly more due to the data from Amazon than anything to do with the sales. But we do get this increase in December, which is what we would expect. And over here, we get this category overview, which just puts this data here into words. But this is what I liked in terms of speeding things up. And that is we could click on this link here. And this takes us to the category page on Amazon. Now you could get to this category page manually, similar to those categories here on Amazon. You could just go and click through each one, go through each category, can take a bit of time, a bit laborious, but this takes us straight to that particular category. And what I do is when I look at this page is a number of things. One is I look for sub niches within this overall broad niche of fashion coloring books. And also because these books are ranking highly in this category, most of them are gonna be highly optimized for their keywords or search terms that uh, Amazon customers use. So I'll be looking at sub niches and also the keywords they're using. So straight away in these first couple of rows, we can see here we've got fashion coloring book girls. We've got black women fashion coloring book. We've got this one here, dresses coloring book. We can see the best sellers ranks of these books. Now you may be wondering why I've ignored this book here. Well, it does scream to me potential issues with trademarks. So I would ignore that completely. So we've gone from broad niche down to some sub niche ideas and some potential keywords. So now we can do two potential things. First thing is that we can go over to Amazon and put in one of these keyword or sub niche search terms, and that is fashion coloring book. And what I'm looking for are these keywords here or search terms here. Because if I see a lot of these and know that there's a lot of people searching for these types of books. Amazon is telling us what people are searching for and customers tend to click on these as well. So I'd put all these down in a spreadsheet. I've also got a plugin installed called AMZ Suggestion Expander, which is also giving us these other search terms that customers are searching for as well. And you can see some of these are those um, sub niches or keywords that we've just looked at. And so straight away, in a matter of minutes, we've gone from our broad niche fashion coloring book down to those sub niches down to those baskets of keywords we can now use to optimize our books to hopefully give them a better chance of being found on Amazon and those are the first two steps I always take when creating books on Amazon niche research keyword research and then I go on to to creating the books so this really speeds up the process now I did say there was two things we can do the other thing is if we're in publisher rocket we may as well take advantage of its keyword research tool. So if we go to home, go to keyword research, put in fashion coloring book, hit go get and rock it. We can see we've got this list here of keywords related to that main search term. And again, we've got all these useful suggestions, but the beauty of publisher rocket similar to helium 10 is we get this column here that we can't get by doing free keyword research. And that is the estimated number of searches on Amazon per month for a particular search term. And this is very useful. And in fact, Publisher Rocket helps us even more by giving us this competitive score, which is basically a ratio of the number of Amazon searches per month over the competition. And so the lower the number, the better. And straight away, you can see we've got these here. And what I would do if I was thinking about creating books in this particular niche. I would probably look at using fashion coloring books for girls as my main keyword, using that as the title of my book, with the idea being that if I can get some sales with this less competitive keyword, my book will then start to rank for that more competitive keyword of fashion coloring book. So to me, this was quite a surprise. And that's why it got me excited because personally, this is a game changer because I can now go from the broad KDP niche research down to those sub niches and collecting those baskets of keywords in a fraction of the time 
that it used to take. Now, if you're interested in checking out Publisher Rocket, I will leave a link to it down below in the description. If you are new to this publishing game on Amazon, then what I suggest doing next is checking out my book tutorial playlist here, where I run through all the steps of creating, researching, and publishing books on Amazon. Thank you much for your time. It is very much appreciated. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and until next time, goodbye.